You know, we have nine new faces this year, so I think our mentality is the same. You know, kind of our motto this year, we don't try to come up with one, it just kind of naturally happens. Faces change, expectations do not. We lost seven seniors who started this program, heart and soul of this team. Again, I left that on the field in, in, in May. Our faces are different, but our expectations of winning a conference championship, making it to the championship game, winning 35 plus games, that doesn't change. So our expectations right now, leave it all on the field, 100%. If you can put your head on the pillow every night saying, I left it all out there, you've done your job. How good are we? We're gonna find out here today. Yeah, we got a couple different teams on our on our schedule. After four years of doing maybe the same types of teams, the same types of times, uh, I've kind of mixed it up. I threw LSU back in there. They finished top five in the country last year, so I thought I'd lead off with somebody like that. Uh, we're playing LSUA. We've never played a team like that before. We've never played some of the JUCOs that are are, are going to come here. I, I took a JUCO mid-year last year. Brittany Rodriguez ended up being a first-team all-conference player for us. Uh, I'm going to bring some JUCOs on campus and kind of take a look to see what they got. So I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit, not only for my new nine, but for the team that's kind of been here and done that before. We've raised the bar. Um, to talk about last year, fun. I mean, fun. Winning's fun. Uh, having those seven to lead this program, winning 35 games is something the top 10 teams in the country do, and we did that. Making it to the championship game in only four seasons ever at Lamar. I mean, those are some things that we'll never do it again. It's already been done. Um, we have new records to break. Uh, two multi 30 win seasons. Um, we had four kids on all conference. I want five. There's always records to be broke. Uh, I want to give my new nine an opportunity to kind of get their mark and their legacy started. So um, fantastic year last year. Last year was last year. Uh, we got a lot of all conference players. Um, they, they were all conference last year. That does not mean they're going to be all conference this year. So I think our expectations are higher this year. Our nine freshmen, honestly, um, I, I want to see these nine put a mark on LU. We've gotten some big time ball players here and they got opportunities to not only start here at Lamar, start in big games to win more than 35 games. So. I'm excited to kind of see what these new nine bring, their mentality, their work ethic, their leadership, their ball skills. I'm excited to see what these new nine bring to us. I mean, it's always great when schedule comes out, we get to see the teams that we get to play. Obviously, we knew who we were gonna play, but to have everyone be as hyped as we are to play, I mean, we have LSU first weekend, that's awesome. We always play a really big team and I'm really excited to get out there with everybody. Obviously, do have a winning season like we did last year, um, and that starts off in the fall. We have to have a great fall in order to have a good spring. Um, these seven games are going to get us ready to have a, um, our really big spring season. Obviously, it's going to be different. We have nine new freshmen, so we, all, we don't have the same team. So um, it's up to the returners to get everybody else ready. We have nine freshmen. That's a lot. That's almost half the team that's brand new to D1 softball, NCAA. They've never played on a, um, a collegiate field. so. It's really exciting for us. We have to help the freshmen get ready for this season. Honestly, I'm excited to get to play another year. This will be my fifth year here. Um, I tore my ACL two years ago. So getting to have that extra year with everybody, I'm super excited and I'm gonna take advantage of it.